Hello everybody, Sebastian here from Everyday Biking and welcome back to an all new video. Today we are doing a bike check and taking a look at my new bike. So I put up an Instagram poll asking you guys what bike you think I got and you guys were very optimistic. You thought I was getting high end YT, Santa Cruz, something like that, but no. I picked up a budget hardtail, which I believe is one of the best budget hardtails out there. This is the 2021 Rocky Mountain Growler 20. The reason why I picked up this bike is because I was looking for an aggressive hardtail with a lot of upgrading potential for a new video series called Project Bike. So in Project Bike, we're gonna be taking the stock Rocky Mountain Growler, a budget hardtail, and upgrading it so I can perform like a $3,000 bike. So this is the base bike I chose, and let me get to the reasons why. So to start off, the bike has a SR Suntour XCM 34, which means 34 millimeter stanchion suspension fork with 130 millimeter of suspension travel. Now the top of the line Growler, the Growler 50, has a 140 millimeter suspension fork, which has the same frame and geometry of this bike. So possibly for a project bike, we'll add a 140 millimeter suspension fork and make this a really rowdy hardtail. Next up, we have the tires. We have Kenda Amrak tires, which are 29 by 2.6. So it's a nice thick 29er, but it's not as heavy as a 29 plus. Now these will provide awesome grip. My only issue with them is the rims are Rocky Mountain TR30 tubeless ready rims. However, the tires on the bike are not tubeless ready. So we're gonna have to find some tubeless ready 29 by 2.6 tires. Now to the drivetrain. We have a Rocky Mountain micro drive uh, cranks with a 28 tooth chain ring up front. And we move to the back and we have a Shimano Dior derailleur, 10 speed with a clutch. So, you know, for the super off-road stuff, you can do that. And it's got an 11 to 46 tooth cassette. So with the 28 tooth chain ring up front and a 46, it will not have any issues climbing. However, maybe in the future, we upgrade that to an 11 or 12 speed, just so we have a bit more range. Now onto the brakes where we have Shimano MT200 hydraulic disc brakes with 180 millimeter rotors in the back and 180 millimeter rotors up front. So these things will have plenty of stopping powers and I believe are some great brakes for the value. The cockpit, we have Shimano hydraulic brake levers, part of the MT200 set, and which is pretty cool. They have some a bit of adjustability there for forward or back, depending on the length of your fingers and all. And I am actually running some specialized XL grips because they're very similar to the Bontrager grips I was running before in my old bikes. And one thing I love about the Growler, especially this Growler 20, the 2021, is this paint. The paint is nice. It is a Canadian brand. Now, I do not believe these bikes are actually made in Canada, uh, especially the lower end ones, such as this, the entry level ones. But it is a Canadian brand, so I'm supporting the local brands. But look at that. It's got a nice um, maple leaf there to show that it is a Canadian brand. Rocky Mountain in this nice green color. I'm not sure the exact name, but it's got a nice little sparkle to it too. And then just switches over to black for the rear end, which is super nice. Let that focus, there we go. Yeah, so it's a very nice paint color. So overall, this bike is very aggressive and relatively capable, especially for the $1,250 base price tag for the Growler 20. That is why I believe it is one of the greatest value hardtails under $1,300, actually under $1,500, brand new. I believe it's one of the best bikes you can get out there with a lot of potential to upgrade in the future because it is an aggressive hardtail. And you know, typically when someone gets into a hardtail, they want to ride more, they ride more challenging things. And this is a great starter bike because you can get out there and experience trails. Although the components may not be up to spec with some of the trails, it will be able to take it and handle it. For example, you can send this thing off jumps and go down some rudy terrain and it will be able to take it without an issue. Um, that's why I believe it's a great value because it'll handle all these things and it's not super expensive and breaking the bank. You can upgrade this thing over time and be up there with the top of the tier Growler 50 which starts at around $2,500, $2,500 to $2,600. And after you sell your parts, 
it would be like owning a bike, being able to ride it, and when you sell the stock part, it'll cost about the same in the end, but you'll have more time to upgrade it, really tweak it to the way you like it. And that is why I chose this bike as Project Bike. So thank you guys for watching today's video of my new bike. Stay tuned for future videos where we take apart this bike, upgrade some parts and make it handle and perform way better than it will now. So again, thank you guys for watching today's video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you can see future episodes of Project Bikes. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a, leave a like if you did enjoy today's video. And comment below what you guys want to see the first upgrade be on this bike. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time.